You know, most parents, when the holiday is arriving, they kind of like start pulling their hair out because they don't know what to do with the kids. And more importantly, how are they going to get them constructively entertained? So here's an idea that you can do with your kids back home. What you're going to need is a couple of tires. You can go along to your local tire place. They'll give them to you. So it's for free. All you're needing is some PVA paint as a base. And remember, your base doesn't have to be white. It could be any color that you want. And some funky leftovers that you've got lying in the garage. And we're going to do the following. Make sure that you put down some plastic, which is going to just help protect your grass or wherever you're painting. And then we just want to paint the tire. White PVA paint, what's the worst thing that could happen? The kids could get it all over them, but just a simple bit of water will deal with it. And get around to painting at least six tires. That'll probably keep them busy for two hours. Ha <laughs> ha, now we're talking. But the good news is I've painted a whole lot of others. So um, you've got the idea. It's just painting a base coat. Let me show you the ones that I painted earlier and what we're going to do with them. All right, guys, so I've got my three tires that have been painted. I've got a black plastic bag. And what I'm going to do with that is use it as the base. So. Just put down your one tire, bang, wherever you want it. Line it with the black plastic bag. Make sure you make one or two holes in the black plastic, which is always important for drainage. Right, the plastic is in, we've made a couple of holes in it. And what I'm gonna do, because I've got three, I want to balance it out, so I've got the widest one at the base. And then I'm gonna take this baby, put it on top, and this baby, I'm going to put right here. Now remember with this, you can go absolutely wild. You can try as many combinations as you want. This is probably the cheapest way of building any kind of raised garden. Um, tires come in so handy. And if you get bored of the color, you just change it. Right, now we get to the part that I'm not very good at. And I'm a little bit, my art teacher back at school would probably be spinning around now on her couch if she had to see me armed with this. However, the intention is to make whatever you want on these tires because this is the fun part. You get to either make petals, dog paws, skeletons, whatever you're really wanting. And this is where you can let kids really go wild and I'm going to awaken my inner child when I now attempt to do some stick men on here. But I guess being a gardener, I'm going to start off with some flowers and you know, thank goodness there's no wrong on this. Let's just get the basic shape. So my Picasso flare is definitely coming through. I can feel it in my waters. <laughs> So now what we do is just carry on around, do whatever you want, whether it needs to be some dots, do what you do best and get painting with lots of different colours and everything that you can do, just go wild with it. Okay, so stop laughing at my artwork. The good news is that Picasso and any other budding artist is particularly safe from my endeavors of attempting to paint anything. But I have to tell you, I had loads of fun. So let's get to the planting where I really know what I'm doing. Number one, remember we've added in the black plastic at the back. I've got some drainage pebbles over here, which I'm gonna just throw into the bottom of each of our towers. And then we're just going to add in some good potting soil, which you can get from your local garden centre. So in a couple of those, then I'm going to add some bone meal in, which is the mixing and the magic stuff that we all need. 
Now guys, whenever you're planting up things like this, think of fun, think of bright, think of easy maintenance. I've got this lovely status. Its new name is Limonium. You can get it in many different types of varieties. You can get the ordinary one, which is called Parisia, which is tough as nails. This one makes a great cut flower as well. And I'm gonna pop him right in the center of my tire to give me that fun, lovely, bright, youthful look that I'm wanting. Now, these ones, because they're a perennial, remember they are gonna die back once they've finished flowering. The good news is that these flowers will last on the plant for up to three months, just as they are. When you pick them, in fact, and keep them in the house, you don't even need to put them into water because they will die back but they will keep the colour, so if it's purple, it will stay purple, and likewise the white as well. And for a bit of funk, I want to use this little pelagonium, or geranium as we know it. Remember, with geraniums, they don't need too much water. And if you live in an area where you're going to get loads of summer rainfall, remember, you have to cut back on the watering, because you're getting it from the sky. Um, and it's important that you don't do that. Keep an eye out for any little white powdery substance that's forming on the leaves because that is a sure sign that they are getting far too much moisture. Ah, oh, and that's bright and colorful, doing exactly what I wanted to do. And then I've got this guy, which is called Biden's, a um, member of the Blackjack family. And I'm gonna pop them in here just to give me loads and loads of color. Right, in this baby, I'm gonna be popping in a lavender or two. And you know, they are just so great. Let's pop another geranium in here. So from really drab tyres uh, to something quite funky, I think, besides my artwork, of course. I think it's lovely. It's certainly going to keep kids involved in the garden for a long, long time. Great plant combinations. And remember, when you're bored of it, you whip it out, pop these into the garden and put something else in here. From seed potatoes to putting in, to veggies, to climbing beans, to some fun summer plants. I mean, your options are endless and I hope that you're going to go and collect some tyres and get painting and create your very own signature tire garden. Mm -hmm.